Look at... <laughs> Look at the people looking for us. Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to a new video. I'm freezing. Just gonna put that out there. It is very, very autumn -y right now. And I thought I'd go for some autumn colors, such as my red lipstick, a new wig, a brand new wig for you guys today. And oh, what's that? It's the Feeling Spooky collection from Feeling Peachy. If you guys haven't checked this out already, I'm going to drop a link for it. In the description below, we've got a load of new Halloween flavored stuff. This is the Reaper top, and it also has this cute little school version of the peach. It's very adorable. Go ahead and check it out in the comments below. And also this color is like my favorite thing ever. So much so that I, I had to match my lips to my top. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And let's get into today's video. So I am in Willow Creek. This is actually um a brand new series, if you guys like it enough, that was actually requested by you guys as well. You guys were interested in seeing what it would it look like if I dedicated some time to making over all of the in-game families, those iconic families that you guys all know and love. I don't really play with them a great deal. So we've got the Goths, are those guys? famous probably not but we've got like you know the land grabs and of course who could forget my favorites where are they the villarreals obviously my favorites the bjergsons we've got candy bear all of these guys candy bear lol all of these guys that actually come with the game a lot of them have achieved iconic status such as the pancakes right here as well you guys are interested to know what it would look like if I made them over using my CC style. And you also requested that I don't mess with the features or don't at least mess with them too much. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's episode. Now, I thought we'd start off right at the very peak of iconicness with the goths here. So they are going to be the first family that I give a makeover to. But I want you guys to decide who we do next in the comments below. So which family should I give a makeover next? Let me know. Go ahead and type a comment out right now and we will do them for the next makeover. So let's get into today's episode. We're going to start with Bella Goth. And oh my gosh, they did you so dirty with this makeup. Who? Like this? Can we just talk about this for a moment? Who, who, who? When you have black hair and brown eyes and you decide first of all to go with blue eyeshadow and sunburn i could only assume on your cheeks who uses brown eyeliner you use brown eyeliner genuinely if you have very fair eyelashes maybe you're blonde maybe you're a redhead that is when you know black eyeliner is gonna look quite dramatic and if you don't want such a dramatic look that is probably what you would end up going for you would not use it if you had black hair and brown eyes like you just would not do that it's just it's kind of weird i don't get it another interesting thing for me with bella goth is so the game that i actually played a bunch as a kid is The Sims 2. Bella Goth in The Sims 2 and in The Sims 1 has a distinctly darker skin tone. So I know I said I wasn't going to really mess with them too much, but also her eyes are so much paler as well. I am actually going to give her slightly darker skin tone. I will keep her on the same like, you know, skin tone that she's on. But to me, she's meant to, maybe that's not even far enough. Before and after. Okay, I, I don't, oh, I said I wasn't going to mess with the features too much. But I'm going to make her a little darker and also I'm going to make her eyes a little bit more the kind of deeper brown that we were maybe this one of these two that we kind of like grew to love. The other thing I'm going to do is and I'm going to do this on all Sims. I'm just going to warn you guys now. The Sims has a really bad habit um, the Sims team of pulling the under, under eyelid down. Now I know my camera is so overexposed because I just cannot get this right. But If you look at my eye, you very rarely get the bottom eyelid drooping to that degree. Like, if you saw people's eyes like that, you know, it's it's not the norm. It is definitely not the norm. It would probably make you, like, be like, huh. So I am definitely going to be fixing the Sims eyes when I get to them. And making it so that there, no Sims have a baggy bottom eyelid. Because it's just, it's not as common as the Sims team seem to, like, try and make it look. So I am just going to be editing that on all the Sims. I'm just going to warn you guys now. And Bella doesn't have this, but a lot of the Sims have incredibly, like, flat faces no matter what, like... No matter what the sim, who the sim is, I notice that a lot of sims, they just have flat faces and also have zero chin. So if I see that, I will also be correcting that as well. I'm just going to warn you guys now. So now that I've done the few tweaks that I'm going to do, I don't want to do anything else. I think she's got a beautiful nose. She's got lovely lips. Her face shape is wonderful. Let's go ahead and start putting her back together again with all of her features. So the Bella Goth that I remember was kind of cheeky. She's got this whole mystery around her. Like, what happens to Bella Goth? Like... You know, where, what is the story with Bella? So I kind of want to get that cheeky look and also that sort of saucy look that she had in the original Sims games as well. I kind of want to bring that in as well. In here, she's got a very like flat eye shape. She's kind of like, her face isn't particularly distinctive. I am as well going to just change her brows a little bit just to give her 
a little bit more of a um of a cheeky brow so there we go she's got a little bit more personality going on in her face and let's have a nosy at some skin details for her now i need to decide with all of these what kind of theme i'm going for you guys know i kind of go somewhere in between max is much an alpha when it comes to skin i'm very alpha when it comes to well when it comes to hair i guess clothing again i can kind of take both i like both of them but with skin i kind of go somewhere in the middle and i actually quite like the style that i use now it's neither one nor the other and i think that works quite well and with bella she's kind of supposed to be like middle-aged woman she's got a lot of sass or at least i kind of see her that way so i'm kind of thinking this is quite realistic i'll probably try and tone it down a little bit but i like the lychee skin overlay from proline i'm gonna go for this one with the little bit of extra cleavage help because i feel like it suits her i'm gonna pre-add a hairline in now i think this one add in a little skin detail a little nose overlay i'm also gonna add this eye overlay here as well okay i think she's looking pretty good i'm gonna nip to makeup now because i want to try and remember the makeup she had because i mean blue eyeshadow are we really gonna do blue eyeshadow when it comes to makeup i'm honestly think i'm gonna ignore the sims team's original wishes because god love them sometimes they're so lost when it comes to makeup the mac makeup i think probably proves that quite well i think with bella's skin tone i'm thinking feeling like browns suit her a lot more i'm not gonna have it quite as strong but somewhere like here browns and golds look good i'm gonna put her eye flicks back on but i'm gonna put them on in black now because it makes way more sense to wear black like eyeliner if you've got like darker hair darker eyes i might change her eyeshadow out to this one just because i feel like bella goth would cut crease i feel like she has cut crease energy yeah she definitely does okay her cheeks before were basically just two big red stains i'm gonna go for more of like a contoury cheek and then lips am i thinking browns or reds she does have the iconic red lip, doesn't she? So maybe I keep that. Hmm. I just feel like a brown lip suits this look so much more. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go in between, like here. Right, okay, so we've got all of her like main look done. We need her hair. So it's kind of mid-length black hair. So I could like jazz her up a little bit. Like I feel like her original design for like the limitations at the time. I don't know. I feel like they kind of envisioned her a little bit. Yeah, other people have imagined her a little bit more jazzy as well. I'm kind of feeling like this hair suits her a lot. I wish that black was a bit darker. That is a nightcrawler hair, I believe. Then also, honestly, something like this would suit her a lot as well. But let's stick to the original vibes. I'm kind of tempted to do something like this. I just, it just suits her. That is what I like imagine when I picture Bella Goth. Okay, that hair looks perfect. We've also got a diamond necklace. I actually have this one, which I think is from Resident Evil Village, but it kind of works. I don't know. Otherwise I have like these chokers, which work really good as well. I've got like a whole string of pearls. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling the Resident Evil one. Is it too much? Maybe it's too much. I feel like she's meant to be like rich, rich lady of the house. And I feel like pearls kind of fit that vibe, right? Maybe this. Okay, just get over the necklaces, Claire. I'm going to stick with the choker for now. Okay, so the dress. For me, the dress is like, it's almost so basic. Like, what do I imagine like rich hot woman wears? Let's put her in a short like red dress. I don't want to stray too far. I still want her to be Bella Goth, but I genuinely feel like you can definitely go way classier with this and it would still feel like Bella Goth. Especially, look at the house that they're in. I feel like this is way more on brand. I also am like, I feel like I want to push her boobs up a little bit. Push her boobs up because look at the cleavage. The cleavage and the boobs are going to match. And I want to just thicken her a little bit. I feel like a bit of a thicker kind of vibes suits her as well. I have got like these dresses, but again, I just don't think, I think she's like classier. I think she's a long ball gown kind of girl. Like she's more like this kind of vibe or even a little bit of, you know, a little cheeky, but I, I think the first dress we put on her, although that, look at, <laughs> look at her blue blue blue. They look fantastic. You can't even deny it. And I do have this. No, I, I I really like the first one we put on her. I feel like it was just right. Although obviously I can't find it now for love, no money. It wasn't that, but that is such a vibe. Words. She looks corseted. Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. I just feel like that fits her. That just feels right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
I am going to extend her necklace out a little bit, I think, to match the dress. And I now think I'm going to go back to the pearls. I'm going to accessorize with some red long nails. Although she is family orientated and look, a long nail is kind of difficult when you've got kids. And her kids are grown now. She can grow them back out again. Yeah, she's fine. And then you can't see her shoes, but underneath she has on these fellas. Obviously, let me just show you real quick. These beautiful shoes, of course. And then can I get some pearls on a wrist as well? Yeah, some nice pearls. And maybe like a matching a nice watch. Is that going to mess with the eyelashes? <gasps> it's not. Look at this beautiful thin watch. Look at that watch. That watch has insurance. And I think my Bella is done. Let me grab her from the gallery so you guys can see the before and after. And let me know what you think. So, Bella before. Here is her before vibes. She would have eyelashes, like the EA eyelashes, but... I have the no EA eyelashes mod so that I can put my own eyelashes on. So Bella before and then Bella after with a Claire makeover. Let me know what you guys think. This is kind of how I imagine her looking. Improvement? Is it not how you imagined it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, let's move on to Mortimer, who I have called Mormiter since I was a child. Literally since I was a child. Okay, his eyes don't have the underneath bug, which is great. And he definitely looks a little bit older than her. I've never really noticed that before. We also have a mustache. I mustache you if I can remove that for when we do our full makeover because I don't think I've got any CC mustaches. Oh, he has got his jeans. This is some strong facial features. Okay. It actually looks like they spent a bunch of time on him. How real do we go? That is the question. I want to keep his like forehead wrinkles. But a lot of my skin is going to hide that. I also am fighting the urge to just... Can I make him hot? <laughs> I might have to go a little bit older on him. Just like a, a touch. Just like this. Make his eyes just a touch bigger as well. Because they feel like a little bit small now in comparison to the rest of the family. I want to give them a makeover and I want to make them look pretty. But I don't want to like just remove all personality from them at the same time. Make right, these eyebrows a bit thicker. See how they look. And lift them just a touch. He looks like such a happy sim, you know? I want to make him look too sad. He looks kind of sad right now. Let me keep going, persevere, and see what we end up with. Okay, this takes away a bit of the age because maybe he looks a little bit too old right now. It's these bits here, isn't it? These like deep nasolabial, whatever they're called. Okay, I softened his eye out a little bit. His lips, I don't know what's going on with his lips right now. I will fix those, don't worry. I'm gonna tweak his eye shape slightly. Just soften that really hard edge. Hmm. <laughs> He's maybe too real. He's freaking me out. This is one of the reasons I don't play with the main families that much is that I just never really... The lore of The Sims doesn't interest me that much. I like making my own stories. I like making my own lore. Hello, Ari. Not the lore. But with Bella, is she meant to be like... Is she meant to have married for money? Is that kind of the situation that we're dealing with here? Because I kind of feel as though it is. And is that why he's like significantly older? Because if so, I want to kind of keep him looking older than her. It's very easy to make Sims look young and hot. Like, that is easy. But making distinguished elder males, that's a little bit harder. I want to sweep his hair back because, like, that just feels like the right vibes for him. And honestly, he needs his mustache. He's he's missing his mustache quite a lot right now. Oh, gee. I'm not, not the biggest mustache lover. I'd rather give him, like, a full beard. That has a bit of a mustache, so we could kind of do something like that. I just don't want to do, I don't want to do this. I think maybe a full beard situation will... I feel like I'm erasing him. Maybe that. Maybe that, because it's still got the mustache. But I'm just adding in a bit more around the mustache. I'll put it with just the mustache so you can see. That. I mean, this is why we're doing this, gang. But it is his personality. It doesn't look the same anymore. I did not think I would start today taking mustaches on and off Mortimer Goth. I can't deny it. It kind of suits a mustache. It kind of does. What I'm thinking is, do we kind of like, we give it a little bit more and like help balance his face out a bit because he's got a great chin. It looks weak with a mustache. Let's just do that. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to give him a little bit more cheek bonage. He's now kind of reminding me more of like um, the Adams family than the Goth family, if I'm being honest. And of course, Mortimer was an android. I don't know how you guys missed that. It wasn't the law. If you'd been paying attention, you would have seen it. No, it's just a good excuse for me to use my cooler size again. But he did, he's not actually uh, an android, so he won't be putting them on. Okay. And then his rig out, it's kind of the cravat, the blazer. He looks like the kind of person that could say, oh, yes, I yacht, but with a straight face. And that is just part of his personality. So I have to try and find him a rig out that matches that. But not the Fortnite one. And not the ones that I downloaded for Bridgerton. Okay, this, this is more like it. We don't have the trilby that's in the picture, but this is more, ooh, I like a tartan number. 
I do like a tartan number. But maybe with a different color jacket. Yeah, because that's kind of a vibe and that matches as well his look. It's just a little bit, you know, this has got a gold trim. That's like very 2017 in the yachting community. Whereas this one, it's kind of fun. It's kind of playful and I like that a lot. I'm going to give him some boat shoes because obviously he yachts. So I feel like boat shoes are kind of important. Or I've got some nice, nice little shoes in them. Oh, they match. That is a matching. Is it too matchy though? Are you a are you trying too hard? Maybe some brown shinies. I'm feeling the brown shinies or my yachting shoes. And I don't know which one to go for. I'm thinking he's, he's the kind of person that would definitely shiny shoe. So I'm going to go for the brown shiny shoes. I'm going to finish off with on him because I keep looking at his hands. I am going to give him the hand definition. Look at those hands. Look at those hands right there. Detailed. Then if it's on this layer. I mean, look at Bella. Bella is a straight up hottie, so I like the idea that Mortimer, he's a bit older than her, but he looks after himself. He takes care of himself to make sure that, you know, she sniffed around him for the money in the first place, perhaps. But she's sticking around for those rock hard abs that she can ping all of the millions of dimes on. And there we go, guys. Mortimer Goth. He still looks a little bit older, a little bit more distinguished, but this is his before. I mean, what is that hair, friend? What is that hair? Before and after let me know what you guys think let me know if you think he's still he looks like an older defined attractive gentleman who's made an awful lot of money all comes from i think he's old money he is old money let's face it okay two done let us move on to cassandra goth the oldest daughter she is in high school and she is creative and gloomy so I am getting kind of emo goth energy from her. And I'm going to kind of work with that and keep rolling with that. So let's just take all of her details off for now. She also has that little little baggy eyelid thing. So we're going to schmize you up a little bit, my love. Your eyebrows as well, I'm feeling a very... Whoa. Oh, it's because you've come from your dad's jeans. I was going to say your side profile is kind of unusual. I want to like define her upper nose a bit more. There we go. That's better. I can see a lot of her dad's side profile in her and not so much of her mum. So I am going to do some tweaking to her appearance there. There we go. I'm also feeling like her eyebrows are going to be incredibly archy. So she's just going to look perpetually mad. Yeah, I might have to change her eyebrow shape a little bit. They're also really far apart. Yeah, we're going to have to do quite a significant amount of brow work, I think. Okay, let's just keep these ones on for now. I'm going to switch it out to some brown eyes. Eye shape still seems kind of odd to me but let's throw on some skin details and see what we end up with and i kind of have to be a little bit careful with the skin details because i still want her to look like related to her parents you know she should still have a bit of a look of them but just younger i'm gonna give her the same hairline and nose as her mom and the same eyes too i do want her to look younger that's the thing i don't want her to look as old as bella does did she have makeup on i don't think she did no she didn't but she does have her ears pierced Hmm, okay, I might do what I like to call glasses makeup, which is where when a sim has glasses, it's good to do a bit of eye definition because you're going to lose it when you put the glasses on. So if I try just this for now, pop her some little glasses on, then hmm, my glasses do you reckon? Maybe some little rose goldy ones like this or some little black ones. Maybe this kind of vibe. I don't know to go for these kinds or these kinds. I'm going to keep these on her just for now. I'm going to give her some lip makeup just so that her lips look a bit more textured. And now I'm kind of like, look, we said we were going to commit to goth. So let's commit to goth, you know? Let's have a little bit of fun with some darker makeup on her and give her this kind of gothic vibe. So I think it's more fun to have her as like this teenager that's like experimenting with her look. You know, she's a gloomy sim growing up in this house, like this big, huge, like kind of creepy house. I think it's more fun to go down that route with her, especially with her mom being so glam. It's kind of fun to have her as like the opposite. So I'm going to go for these like smudgy go pause me um, lips. And then her hair is in the pigtails. So let's see what we can do. I could tell I was going to have a lot of fun with her. I like doing like the teeny girl look because you can kind of experiment a little bit more. It's fun. I also feel like she's just a little bit less defined. I'm kind of going Wednesday Adams. <laughs> I am kind of going a little bit Wednesday Adams with her, but I think that's fine. She actually did as well marry into my uh, not so very family. Okay, so this keeps the pigtails. It does make them a little bit longer, but I like how they're framing her face. This is Phoenix Sims hair. I've actually not used this hair before, but I think it's kind of fun. I like the little wave in there because her mum's hair's got a wave too. In the original, neither of them do, but in mine they do. So I think that's kind of fun. And I want to add some piercings to her. Just like a few. I kind of get the vibe that she might not want to have loads. She's only just started getting them done. Or she's like 
She's rebelling, but she doesn't want to upset her mom too much. So I'll give her just a few for now. And then maybe a few more on her ears. Like so. Let me just pull her ear out a little bit. Oh, and the lip one's messing with her eyes. That's a shame. Keeps putting a little dot in her eyes. Maybe we just go for a nose piercing for now then. Okay, she's looking super cute. I love her look. And then she's got like the black jumper and the skirt. So the skirt, I'm gonna switch up to one of these kinds of skirts. Or maybe this one, what do you reckon? They're both cute, but that one has got a bit more detail. Let's go for this skirt. I've got this, I've got this. I've got this one with the little pearly things on it, which is cute because then her mum's got pearls. She's got her own version. You're not as different to your mom as you think, are you? But I also kind of want to like dress her up a little bit more than she currently is. Kind of boring what she's got on at the moment. So it would be sort of fun just to mix that up a little bit. Maybe, is that too much tartan? Is that a bit of a clash of tartans? Maybe, but maybe like this kind of vibe could be quite fun. Or like a leather jacket, or a little duffel jacket. I think I like the jacket look. I think that's way more fun. And then she's got like the high socks on. So I'm going to put these on, which are some of like my favorite in-game pieces of CC. They're from Clumsy Alien. And I just think that they're really cute. They've got a cool vibe, but I do want them to have a pattern that's going to match her outfit. And if they don't, we might have to mix up with something else. So these are all very colorful. Because mm. she's got like these on. I wonder do something a bit more fun i've got like these kinds of socks too and also these kinds of socks that they do go lower and like patterned as well so i could do that or that i really love this one hmm, let me do her shoes first so she just got these kind of like school shoe vibes i'm gonna switch out to like little patent shoes if i had those with a chunky heel i would be so happy i actually have those shoes in real life and i feel like they would suit her a lot but i don't think I have them. Big Sag. And then let's just revisit the socks real quick. Because I'm thinking like maybe this. Maybe this is the one. And I decided to switch out her jumper once more. I, I don't know. Sorry. I just like this. It, look, it looks like it's tucked into her skirt here. And then it goes over the edge. And I like that kind of detail. That ton of detail is very, very cute. So I think I'm all done with Cassandra Goth. So here is how Cassandra looked before. Kind of... I don't know. She's kind of boring. I would say she's a boring sim. I wouldn't be that excited to play with her. Whereas Cassandra Goth now with the Claire makeover. Let me know what you guys think. I like that she's got this cheeky look about her. And actually, if it lets me do it, I have an extra slider for eyebrows. And if I can grab it right, it will make her eyebrow thicker. Let me just take her hair off real quick. And I can let you see that. I just think she needs a thicker brow. Yes, that's so much better. Boom. Look how cute she'd look with grey hair as well. Oh my gosh. I want to bleach her hair. I want to bleach her hair, but it's too, it's too different. It's too different to the OG, so we'll keep her hair black. But let it be known that I would definitely give her blonde hair. Tell me she doesn't look great with that hair. Like, look how cute. Look how cute. But we'll stick to black. We'll stick to black for now. But if she's going to go for it, maybe she... Okay, she's experimenting with her hair and she just bleached her whole head. She's just bleached her whole head, which honestly is high effort because she's naturally got black hair. So bless you, you've really gone to town there. Good job. And here is my Cassandra Goth. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And let's move on to the final sim, Alexander Goth. Let's have a look at you, kiddo. Kids to me are kind of like, meh. <sighs> A bit boring i don't know like i don't know what you're gonna look like when you grow up because i've never actually looked at you i feel like you're gonna look a lot like your dad let's just have a quick peek oh you're gonna have some chewing gum yeah very dad energy he's got his dad's nose for sure but we are just redesigning the child version of him so i can't even see half my eyebrows why has this happened as soon as i aged him up you do this to me game really seems kind of rude not gonna lie to you oh angry little kid what are you? You're a whiz kid and you're a bookworm. You're a smart child. I'm liking that a lot of these eyebrows are kind of looking quite defiant. Is he secretly a defiant child? Maybe. His dad, his dad, his dad, his dad. What skin details did I give him? See, not all the ones are available for children, so it could be tough. Oh, I gave him an older one. Well, we definitely don't want to do that. So I'm going to just keep him looking young and fresh. I like how he looks a bit a bit sad <laughs> is he gonna age up with a gloomy trait too possibly he's got that way about him i just kind of like the fact that he low-key looks a little bit miserable <laughs> why he's so sad he's pulling on my heartstrings i also look what i've done the one all the way over here <laughs> instead of this one oops and then i don't know what his hair is supposed to look like no i've forgotten already okay he's meant to look like this so just like the little 
side part and in the glasses. Okay, so it's side part town. Side part town. We don't have to do side part. We've got a little bit of flexibility. As long as he keeps the essence of smart, rich kid, then that's fine. Let me add some his wispy bits. But I feel like this whole like curl and flick thing kind of gives me the right energy. Mm, it's still got this bit going on here. Like if I change it to a different color so you can see it more, look, 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 this whole thing. That has rich energy. Or maybe the pushed back cut kind of thing too. Rich energy. Oh, <gasps> this. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, that definitely looks right. Oh my gosh, look at him. He literally is screaming, I'm going to eat him one day. And then his outfit. I think I've got like a proper little rich boy squeed. Yes. Yes, I knew I had this. Just in the bag, ready to whip out at any moment's time. Tell me you go to private school without telling me you go to private school. I'm like, do I just keep it black? Or do we go for like a little check sort of thing? Is he going to like a Scottish private school? I do not know. Some schools have green blazers. Let's just go for like a gray. And then, oh my gosh. This is also the first time I've ever noticed that it's called pants and not trousers. Pants. In the UK, pants are what you wear under your trousers. They're just a bit wide at the end. Why are they not like a, a chino? Why are you going for like a, are they called slacks? Why are you not going for a chino number? That's what I want to know. I kind of want to put them in these instead because they're like more like a chino. Not really long enough. Mm, no, I, I can't put them in those big wide trousers. They just can't, I'm sorry. And then some of these little fellas. Do, we, do you wear a sock with this? I don't know if you do. You kind of go for a bit of a like a jazzy sock. Well, you could, but the game has locked you out of that option. So no sock it is. And there we are. We're done with Alexander Goth. So all his face. Alexander Goth before. Bright kid, but kind of blah as well. Again, not very exciting. Whereas now, I think he looks very cute. Oh, why do your eyes keep coming off? He kind of looks like he might bully me in school. Or he's being bullied. I can't tell. It's one or the other. It's private school, so it's one or the other. And yeah, here is little Alexander. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And the whole goth family is complete makeover done was it a success you guys are gonna have to let me know as a reminder we've got beautiful bella goth here now looking a little bit more classy i would say we've got a handsome older husband mortimer with a little bit of uh, hair on his chin just to kind of balance out that mustache we've got rebellious cassandra who's dyed her hair blonde we can see her roots coming through on her sideburns there she's bleached her hair it is literally white and here is her updated look let me know what you guys think in the comments below and all the way over here We've got young Alexander as well. He's going to take your lunch money and use it to buy some Snickers for his friends when they go yachting. It's his dad's yacht. That's the whole thing. There's a whole yachting theme running through this family. Apart from with Cassandra, who kind of feels like the rebel. So there we go. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comments below. I will save them to my gallery if you guys would like me to upload them. Let me know as well. It won't have all the CC, but all of the little tweaks I made to their faces will be there in case you guys are interested. And let me know which family you want me to do next in the comments below. Please don't forget to do that. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.